530, friends and family hold a benefit after a fire claims the life of a Tippecanoe High School graduate. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. 20-year-old Ellen Garner died Monday. She was in a third-floor bedroom in flames broke out near the University of Cincinnati campus on New Year's Day. 21-year-old Chad Coles of Centerville was also in that home. He died early last week. Today, those who knew Ellen best held a fundraiser in her memory. Alexa Ashwell takes us to the Buffalo Wild Wings in Troy, where folks are eating for Ellen. It's our top story at 530. Katie Mark, Ellen is being remembered as a beautiful young woman with a bright future. She worked at a Buffalo Wild Wings in Cincinnati where she attended college. Therefore, it only seemed fitting to the branch in her hometown to step up with the help of those who knew and loved her. There's a greater cause behind every hot wing served and gobbled down at Buffalo Wild Wings in Troy. Her name, Ellen Garner, a 20-year-old with a bright future whose life was tragically cut short. Oh, we wanted to make sure we were able to support her and her family. The restaurant is donating 10% of its sales to Ellen's family, as well as raffling off these prizes that were donated by people throughout the community. Ellen's high school Spanish teacher at Tippecanoe is one of many who participated. She was a great student, of course, and uh, just a really nice girl, really special girl, um, creative, talented, and just one of those kids who knew what she wanted and was going for that dream kind of thing. Ellen was majoring in fashion apparel design at the University of Cincinnati. But it was just over Christmas break that these two women say they saw her at their orthodontics office in Troy. She was always real bubbly and just a real sweet girl. Ellen's grandparents were also in the crowd and the rest of her family expected later in the evening. They thanked the community for their support in a written statement that also reads in part, quote, Ellen will continue to live on in our hearts and in the individual lives she saved through her selfless act of choosing to be an organ donor, end quote. Everyone's thoughts are with her family and we all feel for them and it's, it's just a, a tragic loss to the community. And right now the fundraiser is still going on and will be until midnight. The restaurant is hoping to raise at least $1,000 and is excited to announce an anonymous donor has offered to match whatever proceeds are made. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News. And the services for Ellen also now set. The visitation will be Friday from 10 a.m. until 1.30 p.m. at the Ginghamsburg Church in Tip City. The funeral service will follow. Burial will be